Uh, someone else asked a question around um, how to get started, which is one of my favorite questions I always like to ask in these is like, if someone's looking to get started, whether uh, contributing or like wh where are the different con contribution areas you most need help with, where where could people get started if they're new to this, those kind of details are always very welcome in the community, I think. Yeah, um, you know, so like any open source project that I've ever seen, um, documentation could always use some help. Um, so. Uh, you know, we have docs.guac.sh. Um, you know, it has some information. It has a lot of these demos um, that I've used. Uh, we could definitely use help sort of tightening up those demos. But also, you know, one of the things that I had to sit, kind of sit and play around with a little bit was just kind of understanding, like, what all the pieces tie together and things like that. Um, and so, you know, really, like, here's... Just, you know, the guac command line reference, you know, like a man page, basically, um, that would be a great thing for someone to add. Um, and so, you know, uh, in the guac sec org on repo on GitHub, there's a website I've been doing some work on. Um, there are issues open in there that could be added um, in the actual like the guac repo itself. Um, we do have some issues that are tagged as uh, good first, uh, good first issue and help wanted. Um, you know, so if you want to work on the code side, like dig in, start poking around there. Like I said, we you know use cases. Um, you know, help us figure out like what could Guac be telling you that it's not. Um, that's really helpful to know because that's what makes it you know worth doing. Um, if nobody uses the project, then we're kind of wasting our time here, right? Um, so, uh, and then, like I said, the Slack community is, um, you know, everyone's very friendly in there. Um, we'd love to have just come in, like ask questions. Um, we've, you know, had people come in and ask like, oh, this is really slowing, uh, my, ing my ingest down. When I have this huge file, like, ah, you know, we end up finding a few, um, bugs here and there. Um, so, you know, just show up and start asking questions. You'll get answers and you'll probably help us find ways that we can improve our documentation and improve the, the performance of the project and things like that. Um, yeah, so. and in addition to higher level use cases, documentation, you know, the, the, the main API of Guac, the GraphQL API is intended to be easy to use to build integrations. Um, so if you try out Guac, put in some S bombs. And then um, if you're interested in GraphQL, you could try writing your own queries. Um, and then if if you want to use that in a part of like maybe a policy engine or a, uh, a plugin to some kind of um, artifact store, maybe a uh, IDE plugin, you know, we're really looking for for ideas for cool integrations to kind of utilize the power of the knowledge that graph that, that Quark is storing, uh, and then like how can that be applied and and made made easier for people to consume? Um, so yeah, GraphQL is pretty neat. Uh, you can go through the tutorials on the GraphQL. Uh, what is it? The GraphQL.org website, and then try out the Quark API and see see how start exploring it if that's something that interests you as well. <laughs> 